All right, so it's been over 14 days and you still haven't received a postcard. So um, at this point, what you want to do is you want to go and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to google.com and the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're signed in with the correct account that you set up your Google business profile with, okay? So you just basically go up here and it's either going to say sign in or it's going to have a round circle with either your initial or your picture in it. So hover your mouse over that make sure that you're logged into the correct account. That's very important. Um, next, what you're going to do is you are going to paste in this link, support.google.com forward slash business forward slash get help. Okay, then you're going to hit enter after you paste that in. It says, which business do you need help with? You're going to select your Google business profile right here. And you're going to put post and it says, tell us what we help with postcard never received. And it's been over 14 days. Okay. Let me hit next. And then right here, you just click on other, it doesn't matter. And then click next step. You're going to skip past this, click on next step. And then um, there may be different options here for this particular one. It's just give me email. It could be a video chat. It could be a phone call with this particular selection I'm going to select email what's your issue and my business profile is pending review and what is your name and I'm just going to put my first and last name what is your relationship to the business I own the business what is your email address it says what are the official email address used to manage your business on Google my business or Google business profile and it's going to be this email right here that you're logged into okay so I'll just put this one All right, then you'll put your phone number. All right, and then you'll put your business name that sees it on Google Search and Google Maps. So basically, um, what that one is, is if I go to google.com and I type in my business, it's basically this one right here beside the view profile. So you can click on view profile and just go straight to your view profile. And then right here, you can just you know, copy that basically. And then the business address. Okay, so um, if you use your, you know, uh, your work uh, location, you put that in. If you are a serviced, uh, service-based business, which most of the real estate agents and mortgage people that work with us are service-based, um, then you'd put your home address. So I'm just gonna put one, two, three, anywhere street. What is the public URL or maps link for your business page? So you can basically go up here and it might not even show up because you're not even verified just yet. Okay. It, um, but if you do need that and it shows up kind of like this, you just click on this little, you know, this little map right here. Again, yours might not even have it. So, and then you could just copy this address at the top. And then you go back and you paste it. Okay. What is your business website? So if you have a website, you're going to put the website here. It's not required. There's no asterisk. Same thing right here. There's no asterisk right there. There's no asterisk right there. But you still need to, I would still fill in that as much as possible. What is your business website? So um, I'm just going to skip back to that. Um, postcard never received. It's been three weeks. Please give another way to verify business. All right, and then you just hit submit. You're not, this is probably the first time you filled out this. So this is um, your related case ID if you've already opened up a ticket, but most likely this is your first ticket. Then you're gonna hit the submit button. Then what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up getting an email um, to this Gmail or whatever email that you use to set up your business profile. And so basically, once you get this email back, it's going to give you a case ID number. And what you're going to do is you're wanting to, you want to log into that Gmail or whatever email that you set up your Google business profile with. And you're going to want to keep an eye on, see if they email you back. Okay. Um, 
so that way, uh, that way, if they have any questions or whatever it may be, um, that you could reply back to them. And you just want to keep on, you know, coming back and checking on this. Um, so again, you're going to go to your Gmail or whatever email account that you had this uh, Google Business profile and just check the email every day.